Uh, Courtney Wood is in the chat room saying, so glad that Christian Noir is back. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. People are actually looking forward to me. That's right. Your fans are showing up in the chat room. I don't even know I have fans. I, I, I literally thought I was just making people mad for all these years, and I was like, thank God no one likes me. <laughs> It turns out, right? Uh, so, uh, so, no, no, and, and that's what you. So, so first of all, yeah, you came back last time you were on the show. I, I think we were talking about like what was putting you out of out of uh, the, the the ring for a bit. You yeah. took some time off from an injury, and uh, and and was and I know, because, well, you know, hey, we, we gotta we gotta follow you after the uh, TikTok thirst trap discussion last time you were on the show. <laughs> so uh, you know, so we see all the gym picks and everything. So we knew you were getting in better shape. Uh, there yeah. it is. There's the he's got the guns up there. There it goes. There yeah. it goes. Yeah, when I was at the, I think when I went, uh, when I was trying to get back into wrestling, I remember I was training with Lee, and Lee tested my hood Lee, card. Lee, 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 Lee. <laughs> Oh, Moriarty san. That's right. The scariest wrestler. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not scary at all. <laughs> oh, no. He, Lee, he, you're not scary at all. Did you hear me? Never is. You, I hope you're watching. He, me, he was, uh, he, we, we, we did like some training together. And Lee pulled my hood card. He was like, there's no reason you can't do this. He was like, you springboard. He was like, there's no reason you can't do this. Step up on the ropes. And I was like, I don't do that for a reason. And I did it, and I twisted my ankle. Like, my ankle still hasn't healed, but anyway. Oh, yeah, jeez. It, yeah, it, 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 it's weird looking. But then I stepped on the scale when I went to the hospital, and it was like, oh, you're, I, it said, like, oh, you're 267 pounds. And I was like, ugh. Ah, gross. So, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I decided <laughs> to make a change. And I was like, I'm going to start working out. Mm. Um, I started asking, like, Duke Davis for advice because Duke, Jeez, he is shredded these days. Yeah, Duke. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I remember when he when I first tried working out with Duke, like it was it was god off. I like dropped off the earth. I was like, Duke, I can't do this with you no more. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I took a lot of advice from Duke and all that. Started taking my stuff, my thing seriously. And now I'm back. Now I'm down to 207 pounds. That I feel, I feel good about myself. Good, good. That's the most important thing, man. So. Yeah. So what? So what turned around? Because I, you, I know you, you, you had a scary neck injury, um, going out. You know, and you, you, you took some time. You had a final match a, a couple of years ago. You know, what, what kind of got you kind of confident? You know, uh, uh, that you could get back in there. Um, oddly enough, I ran in the Matt Connor, um, and he, but he hasn't seen me for like eight, like a year and a half, and he was like, "Hey, Christian, what you up to?" And I was like, "Oh, there's nothing, just working all that." He's like, "He's like." He's like, you want to wrestle again? I was like, look, man, I don't know. Because, like, when I stopped wrestling, I just kind of made peace with it. Mm -hmm. Like, cause, like I had dreams. I was like, no, I wanted to go wrestle in Mexico. I want to go do all this. But I was like, now that, you know, my brain is forever rattled, now I got, you know, problems. The guys are going to affect me the rest of my life. And I was like, I don't know, Connor. I don't think I could do it. But he was like, are you happy? I was like, I don't know. He was like, are you happy? I was like, I'll be real with you, Connor. I'm not happy. And he said, at least if you're going to wrestle and you're going to be done with it, he said, go out the way you want to go out. He said, if you're, this is going to be the last chapter of the book of Noir, write it the way you want it to be written. Because I remember the way um, someone said, Atticus, me, I remember me, he said when I got done, he was like, you're not done until you wrestle me. Mm. Oh, that's a that's a challenge. And when having Connor say that, and that of Atticus lingering in my head, I'm saying that at least because I know, you know, I'm scared of like you know that injury happening again, and like mm -hmm. it was bad enough, like now I could feel the right side again. Like now, I mean, granted, there's still problems out short term memory, but like and, and you had, you had you had the memory problem. You couldn't you can feel in most of the right side of your body. Like it was, and you were still wrestling at this point, right? Yeah, I was. So, I wrestled for like four more months. I told yeah, yeah. nobody. Yeah, but like now I'm just realizing I was like, at least if I'm going to, not even I can't for my own safety and like cause I don't know what could happen again because that was horrifying to go through mm -hmm. like in case I go through that again I don't want to go through that again so I was like at least if I'm going to finish my wrestling career I want to go out in this way the best way I can mm -hmm. I want to go out the way Christian Noir would want to go out I, will want, I want to you know even if I don't get to wrestle say Atticus 
I want to wrestle, you know, where I can just like, you know what? That was it. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. I'll, I can put my boots up. Mm -hmm. Put your boots up. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you my fancy kick pads, not with the laces on them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I could just be like, you know what? I had a good career. I mean, I didn't do all that I wanted to, but circumstances happen. And you know, we're, um, I was part of the 1% that I said, you know, I'm going to go out and live my dreams, no matter how stupid it might have been. I dig it. I dig it. That's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, Atticus is one that you, that, that's been on, like, you know, you saw him at, at, at McKeesport with that promotion, and then he's been through Rise and stuff. So he's somebody that you've kind of come up alongside, right? Yeah, I so. remember when I first met him, I thought, and I, I remember when I first heard about him, and then I heard they were coming to McKeesport. I posted a picture. I was like, hey, yo, who let these murderers through the door? <laughs> they got they were wild to see this first time, especially. It's not something I expected. I think they were. It, in in in, in, in McKeesport like, at the like time, yeah, they had they had the pig bass thing going on. There was the it was because it was Otis and Atticus. They were the Cobras. I think they had a third member at yeah, first time Zach, there. Zach Zach Thomas. Yes. Now. So <clears throat> yeah, because like I remember when they first came through, like there, you know, I was like, I was like, you, you guys are creepy guys too, right? They're like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> all right, cool. We we friends then. Just like you ain't got no option. We we homies now. You know, and now you know. You, now Atticus is like Atticus is blowing up. Atticus is doing his thing. Yeah, big stuff with a, a four four zero and GCW, of course. Yeah, one hundred percent happy to do. Glad he's out there doing his thing. No, Otis. Otis took some time off. Otis is back. Otis doing mm -hmm. his thing. Great. Zach Thomas. You know, he's doing his thing. Fantastic. You know, now they even have the cumulation. You know, everybody involved. You know, they're all doing dope stuff. But like, <clears throat> even. I mean, I would like I said, if I could wrestle him. No, just homie to homie one last time, hundred mm -hmm. percent. But you ain't sticking no skewers in my forehead. That that, no. that, uh, that match ain't happening. Just make sure the match is in PA where we can't do that stuff. <laughs> I guarantee, just out of nowhere, um, he's like, I'll be on the ground. I got these skewers, man. Just take take these to the forehead. Wait, what? What would you mean take them to the forehead? Uh, <laughs> no. It is comes up something you can sneak in there for sure. Uh, so how did it feel getting out there first time? Uh, you're kind of more you you're, you're kind of more a good guy, kind of more like like the outside. We're seeing it in the chat room right now, right? Uh, for Rise Wrestling, you were a surprise coming out. Yeah, it was uh, you know Kobe's uh, challenge. He was like, oh, I, I want I want to fight more, and that's Kobe Red. <clears throat> Kobe Red, and like. When I came out from behind the curtain, I it was pitch black, and I'm thinking to myself, like I when I, I know what like when I wrestled, I, I got like mixed reaction. Like mm -hmm. coming out, I was always cheered, but you know throughout the match, I had to remind them, all right, this is why you hate me. Mm -hmm. Let me mm -hmm. wipe these cheers off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. But to come out and like and kind of embrace that, because my running through my mind, I was like, yo, they're not gonna they're not gonna like me. Like they remember all the horrible. Th things i've done mm -hmm. all of them, like when i was like hanging when i was hanging people threatening people beating up people ruining matches just making people lives that rise miserable i was like they're still gonna hate me for that like awkwardly was, licking the women you wrestled <laughs> <laughs> they like that That's, they, okay okay they were into that <laughs> um anyways but yeah they uh but when i when a moment those lights flicked on mm -hmm. and they just knew it was me mm-hmm even with the hood up and the mask on, I felt like the building like vibrate. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, yeah, like, cause you know, I've, I've always been a bad guy. So I'm sitting there like, is that your first, like, like, like face pop? That was my first ever, like legit face pop. And like, everyone was just cheering. I felt like I felt the building. I like, I felt it shake my skin. And like, I was like, yo, Are I've you never, sure it wasn't an earthquake. It might, I, I was, I was hoping it might've been. Cause I was, I was, I sure wasn't ready for it. Because I was, like, but honestly, like, I felt that through my body. I was like, I was like, you know what? I was like, this, so this is what all the good guys feel like. Like, <laughs> and everyone was just on my side. I was like, yo, this is like, no, I was like, so this is what it's like. I was so happy. Like, I almost wanted to cry. I think I did a little bit, but because there's already, there was already like tear, like running like sock black from the sockets. I no one like noticed. And like I felt that like adrenaline rush of like no I I could do anything I felt invincible, like it felt it was really, you know, awe inspiring, like to to be welcomed back with such open arms. 
Well, we, we got we got something else going on here. Oh, she found a friend. <laughs> Look at that. Um, no, you know, it, it's awesome to have you back. Of course, you know, in with the rise. Of course, you got a show coming up this Friday, yes. and I do believe you have a three-way match happening over there, right? Yes, it's me versus Colby Red versus PB Smooth. First, it was initially me and Colby, but then PB got added in. Mm-hmm. And but as I'm seeing now, Colby and PB used to be partners back in the day. Mm-hmm. So. First, I was like, first I was like, all right, it's me versus Kobe and BC's on the outside. I was like, oh, I got to deal with that. But now I'm like, great. Now I got Buddy and Buddy together. You know, who says that they won't be like, you know what? We can for old times' sake. So technically, it's three versus one. But you mm-hmm. know, I'm I'm okay with those odds. You know, I didn't come back to sit here and take it easy. I didn't come back for you know. I was going to cruise past, you know, I look forward to these types of challenges. You know, I didn't spend all that time losing weight, be it secretly being at training to have, to have an easy route. Like these are, mm-hmm. you know, these are things champions are made of, which I know I want to be in that championship match in December. Like this is what it takes to be a champion. And like hell or high water, I will go through PB, Colby, and even if BC gets involved, I will drag him through the waters of Louisiana face face down with my foot on the back of his neck, and I will walk out and advance to the championship in December. You should drag him to hell. Oh, but uh, is hell a little bit too harsh? No, it's not harsh at all. All right, we'll drag him to hell then. There you go. <laughs> well, uh, you're, giving, you're giving me flashbacks to my favorite casket match of all time uh, that we got to film. Oh, I told Connor to suck my <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you and Mac Connors, and the 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 middle finger coming out of uh, uh, out of the casket was was a great shot. So yeah, I think I'm the reason why there's no more middle fingers allowed at Rise. They yeah, were, they were like, they're really no more middle fingers allowed. Oops. Yeah, and I was like. They were, they were like, they were like, they were like, they did. They were like, we're not going to drop Danes, but someone's flipping people off too much. And flipping, someone's flipping off the crowd. I'm sitting there like, yeah, that was me. Oh, that's, that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's just popular these days. Here's a little shot. Um, I think it shows up in a second here, a little, little bit of your, uh, comeback here. I don't know. You're just, you're just kind of ha- sitting in the dark right now. There you are coming out there. Uh, your, your comeback there at, uh, the last rise show. So. Um, so that is that is this Saturday in uh, Baldwin, Pennsylvania. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, it is not a bad jaunt. I, I actually came from the South Side doing an event that day, and it was like it was like, like ten minutes from the South Side. It was great. So um, go check it out. Uh, and uh, so so we're going to take a quick break, and then Megan, I think we're going to get to know you a little bit. 